with talking to Brandon, how did he respond to, to the suspension? Uh, he's, it's hard. It's hard. You know, um, I just spoke with him uh, not too long ago, and, and uh, I think the great the, the, the thing is he needs to know what we're all, you know, we under, understand the game of football. Some of us just play, have played it, uh, very emotional. You know, things happened in that game in particular that were, were not good for either side. And, uh, but the bottom line is we're Florida, and he's Brandon Spikes, and we expect certain things. He, he's, he understands. Did the SEC call you at all about it to talk? I did speak to the commissioner, and uh, we did speak. Uh, why half, and, and was, there, was it a retaliation? That's the word I'm getting. Yeah, it was. I mean, it's the, we're living in a world of YouTube and, and uh, all that other stuff. But that's not our, you know, our job is just to do what we have to do. And I saw it. I didn't, you know, I didn't I remember my wife said something last night. And then uh, Coach Strong said something to me today. And then I didn't, you know, I said, let's move. You know, I don't, I don't care. You know, when, then I saw it. And I said, that's not right. Ben. Uh, with Brandon, this isn't the first time that his emotions maybe have gotten aggressive. I wonder if he punched the ball in the stands. How hard is he to just rein in? Well, it's great. I mean, uh, not that. I mean, the emotion. You want to coach. There's fish and there's non-fish. You know, the fish are the guy. You know, you catch them, you throw them on the dock, and they lay there. You know, no, he's not like that at all. But he's not a bad guy. Great guy. You know, I want to coach passionate guys. We teach passion, and, and we don't want those things that just kind of stand off the side. That's not what this place is all about. But we have to live within the rules and do it the right way. We don't. You know, we're good. And you know. You talked a lot this year about how much stuff this team has gone through from the expectations, Kiffin, Another stuff. concussion, <laughs> MSU, all this. Is every year challenging like this for you in terms of putting out the fires and motivating your teams, or is this year like a special kind of question? Every minute is like that, <laughs> especially at Florida. And I made this comment that uh, on Sunday, I think we did a conference call, and so I said, boy, is it, you guys get to relax. If you want to coach at Florida, this, this is all our assistant coach. There is so much pressure on those guys to perform at very. You can go coach it. Those guys, it's a God made it a free country. You do whatever you want to do. You have freedom of choice. Go somewhere and chill and relax. If you're a player, there's plenty of places to win, lose, or draw. Hey, half empty stadium. And uh, at Florida, you have to play at a very high level. When I was started, you know, it's been around here for a long time, but the 90s was the same way. And, and uh, that stadium, you walk out there, that's a pretty imposing place. To walk in here, to come to Florida, you have to be really good. You have to be a really good player. You have to be a really good coach. You have to work at a very high level. And you have to be on edge. The minute you lose your edge, I think Billy Donovan said it best when he spoke to our team. You are not a good team. You're not a good athlete. The minute you lose your edge. And so we're always on edge. And uh, so I just, I love that. And I know our players, the, the real ones love it. And our players are, are kind of thriving on that right now.